What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'll be showing you how to accept reoccurring payments from your clients. So this is a little different than charging reoccurring payments for members. We're going to take a different approach here. First off, if you're just joining us here on Wix Training Academy, thank you so much. I know we're in a darker setting right now. It's because I'm still in college and I have a new house here at college and I'm actually getting ready to move out of college here at the end of November where my girlfriend Delaney and I have just secured our first apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're super excited, but I tell you that because I'm going to have a new and improved setup. It's going to be lighter, it's going to be brighter, it's going to be fun, it's going to be vibrant. And I'm excited to bring that to you. But if you are new here and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, make sure to do so. Click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because you're not going to want to miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. I don't know about you, but it's a pretty exciting place. Let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Alright guys, so we're actually here in our Wix dashboard for today's video. Now, where you need to go to start this process is once you're in your dashboard, you will go and you will find finances. You'll see on the left, you can scroll through the different uh, menu items that you can click on. You're going to want to click finances. Then once in finances, you're going to want to click invoices right here. Okay, so you'll click invoices. This will load. Once you get to this point, there's one key thing you need to know before you can start this process, and that is you need to have a business and e-commerce plan, hosting plan on Wix. That allows you to accept payments on your website. Of course, you're going to be accepting recurring payments from your clients. An example of this is maybe you are a marketing agency and you charge your clients on a monthly basis. Maybe you charge $2,000 a month and then plus their ad spend, but their flat fee to you every month is $2,000. Well, you're going to want to make an easy, comprehensive way for them to just get charged every month. So that way you don't have to do it manually and they don't have to do it manually either. This is the way to do that. So it's for whenever you've got reoccurring clients or maybe somebody's got you on uh, uh, retainer for consulting work. That's another example. And they charge uh, or they uh, start this reoccurring payment with you. So that way you guys don't have to both worry about doing it manually. Here's how you do it. So you'll go to the invoices tab. You'll come up here. You'll click new invoice. Now, previously, the cool part is you were able to charge just a general invoice as well. So this doesn't have to be reoccurring. But what you'll do is you'll come in here, you'll title your invoice, and now they've added the new payment type. So you can choose either single payment, this is a one-time, or reoccurring auto payment. And then you can choose the issue date. So this is going to be the same as the send date. You can choose when it's due. So from how many days from this invoice being sent is this reoccurring payment due and then you can choose your billing cycle here too so you can choose monthly weekly yearly uh, and you can choose when it is canceled maybe that's unlimited maybe it's not canceled until your client calls and cancels with you maybe your client signed a 12 month contract and you're going to choose 12 months so you would come in here you would enter that uh, details and then what you would have to do is you'll actually go into your uh, customer contacts and you'll have to choose one of the contacts from your CRM that's here in Wix. So this has already got to be an active client in your Wix CRM. Uh, so that way you can actually choose what customer it is and you've already got their email, phone number, all that good stuff on file. So then Wix will automatically associate this invoice with that customer. It's also good for tracking purposes because now that you've got everything in one spot, you've got that same client in your Wix CRM. Well, now you can see all of the notes, tags, payments, invoices associated with that client in your CRM. So you're able to track everything with a few clicks of a button, which is really nice. And then once you've got that, just like you would with a traditional invoice, you're going to add your description. It's a product line item, right? So you're going to choose what your product or service is. You can add a product right here. You can add a description and then you can add your pricing and whether you choose taxing or what that looks like, depending on where you're located, you would choose that right here too. 
and uh, and then you can come through and you can add multiple items if you want depending on what this reoccurring charge is every month and then you could also add a discount maybe uh, maybe they signed up under a deal and they got consulting on a discount I don't like discount consulting personally but that's okay you can do that just using examples here so then you'll come through you'll do that and then you'll add any additional information so any notes that's personalized to your client you can add a little note uh, or legal terms so make sure this is actually indicated make sure people understand there are legal terms associated with this invoice it will be billed on the second of every month your payment is due by x date every single month make sure you include those uh, legal terms if you don't include those legal terms and there's no signed contract or anything like that technically people could wiggle right out of this and you can't do anything about it so the legal terms is to protect you make sure you've got them in there and then what you would do is you can either save it as a draft or preview it I'm not gonna be able to preview it just because I don't have all the details in here and I don't have a contact I'm sending it to but essentially it will allow you to preview it and then it would allow you to send it to that particular client when you send it they will get an email of it they'll get notified and then they'll be able to access it and pay it again you have to have a business and e-commerce plan so that way you can accept payments and I recommend setting up your payment gateway either through Wix payments which is their own native payment processor now or PayPal something of that nature to make it real quick and easy to just take a credit card and let it let it process that's it and then once they do it once they enter their card once it'll reoccur for however the length of that term is and until whatever canceled or 12 months right and it'll be billed every month week or year depending on what you select but that is how you charge reoccurring payments to your clients here on Wix I hope this was a helpful video I know this is very valuable for some of you and it makes your life a whole lot easier especially with the time we're going through now everything's happening online so the more you can keep on here and the more you can keep it in one centralized place the better and Wix is doing a real good job of building that all-in-one solution I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like down below. Comment and let me know your thoughts if you have any questions. If you're excited for me to go to Charlotte. And lastly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn those bell notifications on. So you never miss any content here on the channel because we've got some exciting stuff coming up. But you'll see that soon. And you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. It's a perfect place to be. You get to learn from the best all around this community right here on Wix Training Academy. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll catch you on our next one.